Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday. It is Sunday, November 10th, 2024. The date, 9.32 a.m. California time here. Uh, just looking at some seismograph stations here of that large earthquake that just struck a few minutes ago. A short time ago here in the Cuba area. Producing a significant seismic wave there from a 6.8 earthquake. 14 miles deep here into the Cuba region along the plate boundary here around the looks like the eastern edge here of the Cayman Ridge. It's actually a pretty significant earthquake there. I was looking at the Tsunami Warning Center. I don't see anything showing up here on the tsunami page, but it looks like it may be offline. Well, it's working right now. No tsunami warning advisory watch or threat from this earthquake but it's actually a pretty decent sized quake there across the area and i'm sure uh, quite a few folks felt it here across the area to the east uh, let's see if we got any reports coming in from this earthquake uh, very minimal at best here but maybe not a whole lot of people just in the mood to report it it does look like maybe even a few folks there in miami florida uh, reported feeling that earthquake i don't know it's possible uh, so at 739 kilometers away, that's that's a uh, considerable distance there. But uh, uh, yeah. So anyway, it has been uh, noted here in the last couple days, and I've talked about this in a couple different videos of mine, that uh, the Caribbean plate here, which where this earthquake struck recently, is uh, underneath a lot of strain here. We've seen a lot of movement here across the area of the Middle America Trench southward. Let me show you guys the last seven days of uh, earthquake activity. Uh, a swarm of movement here into the Middle America Trench, some larger scale activity off the coast of Panama. This area right here is a subduction zone, and what happens here ultimately affects areas around the Caribbean Plate. This movement here furthered a swarm of activity here around the Puerto Rico Trench recently. And it looks like that activity has come to a breaking point here across the area of Cuba. Uh, this is just the way plate tectonics work. Uh, let me show you guys a map here real quick. The Caribbean plate in the pink salmon color. Here's the Middle America Trench where the red arrows are pointing. Cuba uh, over here along the northern edge of the Caribbean plate. So intensifying earthquake activity adding strain all across this little plate called the caribbean plate it gets squeezed it gets pushed around um by the south american plate here to the south and you know it's it's a little vulnerable plate that's subject to some large earthquake activity uh so it's just a matter of time before we've seen some things uh, further escalate there across the area due to all the elevated movement here across the middle america trench recently you're going to have to bear with me. I'm still a little bit, uh, my voice is still a little bit under the uh, uh, the normal tone because I've been sick here. But uh, it's getting better, slowly but surely. I appreciate all the good vibes coming in there. Uh, 6.8, it looks like there was a 5.9 here as well, about an hour uh, prior to that 6.8. So that's going to be a four shock. Um Here's one from yesterday. Or actually, that was a couple. Yeah, well, yesterday. There we go. I keep thinking today's the 11th. But, uh, hey, today is 11:10. That's Missy Mimi's birthday. So if you can get her, uh, yeah, I was going to say, get her a present. No, you don't have to do that. All you got to do is wish her a happy birthday. I think she'll like that. Um, but, yeah, there was a uh, 5.8 there from yesterday down here across the Panama area, further strengthening the strain out here across this area of the Caribbean plate. Uh, 5.9 first, and then a 6.8. Goodness. Now, potentially, this area right here across this ridge region is capable of producing something larger. Um, I don't remember the last time we've seen... Uh, a big big quake down there i know 6.8 obviously fairly decent but further to the west here along that ridge region uh, is capable of producing a larger event than a 6.8 as you can see there on the map i think we get up in the seven range or so and above that but for now uh definitely for now we got that 6.8 coming in 
Let me grab a little uh, drink here real quick because I'm just about ready to lose my voice. Now, aside from this, again, that's a, a decent earthquake. Got a little bit of movement stretching up here into the uh, North American continent uh, with some movement around the Utah area, 3.0 near Hanksville. Also, if you look here on the San Andreas Fault, the southern segment seeing some movement as well. Nothing big, but a one point, uh, looks like a little 1.5. We'll see how this uh, further escalation here of adjustment takes place uh, and affects the areas up north here. It's, it's hard to say exactly where we could see further pressurization from this most recent earthquake, but uh, these large quakes tend to, um, you know, add a domino effect across the area potentially we could see things further escalate up north here we'll have to watch that uh, throughout the day today uh, pending we don't get anything larger out here let me take a look here and see what's going on there across that area i'm going to go 5.5 and above and we're just going to go way back in time here from the usgs earthquake catalog i want to see uh how big these events out get can get out here right along the cayman ridge eastward i know the puerto rico trench over there uh, is capable of producing something way bigger talking about a mega quake potential in that area but i want to see specifically this region where uh today's earthquake struck it kind of a eastern edge here of this cayman ridge um, so if you take these two quakes away today, that leaves very minimal earthquake activity within that, that line. Uh, looks like a 5.8 2017 and a 5.9 So a little bit of older movement here. Further west, this is where some of the larger quakes take place here. 7.1 7.7. I remember that here just a few years ago. Uh, along the Cayman Trench, 2020, 6.2 back there. So, uh, you know, this area definitely, definitely can get some bigger quakes in the 6.8. I don't know if that's in the menu today or not, but uh, it's always good to be prepared. I don't see any, uh, let's see here. I only see those two quakes there on the globe, 5.9 and the 5.8, or 6.8. No further aftershock activity yet, which is a little odd. So we'll continue to watch that uh, potentially for some further movement. But no, no tsunami, no, uh, no watch warning or advisory for that earthquake. No buoys out there in event mode uh, that I can see. That would be this area down here. There's the oceanic trench. That's crazy. You know, it takes a lot of strain and a lot of stress to produce uh, that type of image here on the map. There's Georgetown over here. Today's earthquake right about here in this eastern edge of the uh, this ridge region. Let's see. Come on, EMSC. Are you working? Are we working today or are we a little slow? Looks like we're working. What I find a little odd is the lack of aftershock activity. So that could be a little concerning uh, due to maybe we haven't seen uh, sufficient stress release out here yet. Uh, so we'll watch this here this morning, see how things see how things play out in terms of maybe some further escalation there. Uh, a lot of deeper activity here from yesterday. Actually, if you look, it's a lot of deep activity followed up by surface adjustment. Deeper activity here into the trench, surface adjustment upstream along the plate boundary itself. Uh, that's an obvious sign right there to watch for some further larger movement. But also all that pressure and extreme momentum here of the deep and shallow earthquake activity. Need to watch this region out here across this uh, New Guinea area eastward. To where we're seeing the swarming take place back here uh, one earthquake here from from yesterday a little 4.9 pretty shallow but that leaves this area uh, somewhat open there for some filling in in terms of earthquake activity 
All right, let's check out the space weather activity here real quick, see if we've got anything major going on. A near X flare looks like overnight uh, here on the solar flare chart. Make sure the bells are off. I should have done that at first, but that's okay. Uh, very large M flare, almost X flare category, 9.4 to be exact there on the chart. Now, let's see where that came from. Looks like 3889, the culprit of... Uh, some recent M flare activity. 3889 is going to be this newer sunspot area and basically the only sunspot region that's capable of producing some large flare activity. So there has been a number of sunspots here on the Earth facing side recently that uh, was just as complex as this area. But uh, notice that these regions have backed off. There's a lot of separation here of the core. And by the way, that's not. The audio cutting out that's just my my voice right now um man i got people offering to send me some homemade antibiotics i appreciate it um i got an appointment scheduled tomorrow it's just a lingering case of bronchitis uh that's still stuck in my upper respiratory so i'm trying to deal with that but voice cracking here on occasion uh, so, yeah, we'll watch this area. It looks like back over here still is showing some complex sunspot magnetic structure there. Uh, overall threat, 20% chance for X flare, M flare at 70, C flare around 99% chance or so. A little bit of aurora activity coming up out of the blue right now, uh, but not, not expecting much in terms of the aurora. <clears throat> a storm Prediction Center, not a whole lot going on out there for severe weather for now. So we'll see what happens with the uh, large earthquake movement and adjustment there in Cuba. Uh, the Earth obviously recovering from a, uh, a seismic wave there, a 6.8. Decent size earthquake, right? Um, we'll see how today plays out, folks. Make sure you guys subscribe while you're here. Like, and uh, if you leave a comment, I definitely appreciate it. I think Missy Mimi's there uh, would be... Uh, more than excited to uh, see all the comments uh, wishing her a happy birthday uh, so happy birthday missy mimi's she is my other half here on the camera on the uh, <laughs> on the channel <clears throat> eventually we're going to integrate a uh, kind of a green screen here to the live stream where we'll put an image of us here um, as we do the update video quite a few folks did it have done it and are currently doing it uh, we just haven't got to that point yet, but uh, I think it'd be something cool to do as we're doing our live updates. All right, folks, have a good uh, good Sunday out there. Saturday, uh, Sunday, yes. I, I tell you what, eventually I'm going to be back to normal here. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on. Stay safe out there.